Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before I begin, I want to let you know that I am not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest. But what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we are looking at Magnum Meta. And uh, so as far as this project is concerned, I haven't been able to find an audit on it. Um, no information released in, in regards to pre-sale. Private sale apparently is going to be going live soon, but when I scouted this, you know, some days ago, I hadn't seen a link for that. Um, no uh, certificate of KYC. Team's not photo docs. The team is essentially anonymous. You know, as far as, like, red flags for me, you know, um, right away, I'm going to tell you that the team being anonymous, you know, no KYC, that's a big deal to me, and um, no audit, you know, as well. Obviously, you know, no way to assess, you know, the safety of the contract, you know, so. So, yeah, um, but if the team comes across the video and can provide any of that information, that would be greatly appreciated. So, um, I'm always receptive to that. Um, we're going to go ahead and just take a look here at the main page, and then we'll take a look, you know, at what's going on in the white paper as well, or at least some elements of it. So, the leading decentralized blockchain solution for e-business, and we can see a video. You guys know I don't play videos, you know, when uh, we do some exploration, you know, of the projects covered on the channel, but you can certainly feel free to come back, you know, to the main page. You know, I'll leave the links relevant to the project in the description below so that you can take a look at the video content, you know, that they have here embedded in their web page. So we got a learn more button here. Uh, we see some links you know, up here in the navigation bar. Read the white paper, and then you got this hamburger up here uh, that gives you some categories, you know, as well. So trending courses, you know, that you got here. You can view all courses by clicking on the button there. And uh, you know, it says here join the network. You know, these aren't your typical e-course packages. Magnum Meta partnership plans uh, put you in the driver's seat of your own personal development journey. Countless online courses, top shelf teachers, income potential, become a partner button here, and the most popular courses, and then they've got some you know, information, you know, you can go ahead and click on them, you can view the details, you know, buy now buttons associated with them too, and I know this doesn't look like a typical crypto, you know, project, but um, with that being said, this says here the perfect courses, you know, for beginners or professionals. We got categories over here, e-learning, cybersecurity, entrepreneurship, business, and parenting um, courses, again, you know, so, and then it says here, obviously, just reiterating the message of joining their network, and they've got, you know, different links down here, you know, their Telegram, Discord, you know, Twitter, and so forth, so, all right, so we're going to take a look, you know, at uh, the, uh, White paper. So this goes over, you know, their history behind the Magnum Meta ecosystem. You know, so just understand that. And if you click on the executive summary, then it'll take you to, you know, basically, you know, what what their white paper is, right? So I do want to highlight, you know, if we look at the team again, not photo docs, you know, at least not here, but you can obviously look at their LinkedIn, you know, for additional images and information regarding, you know, each of these individuals. Okay. So um, let's see here, moving forward. Uh, if we take a look, you know, at um, their tokenomic information. I do want to highlight, you know, that um, this is all the information that we get in terms of the tokenomics, okay? So, um, token name, symbol, total supply, 500 million, hard cap, you know, um, is going to be over, what that, what's that, 10 million USD. Private sale, this is what you're looking at in terms of the pricing. Pre-sale goes up, uh, you know, a little bit more, and then public sale goes up a little bit more. And that, there's nothing really in common there in regards to that. So, and then we see, you know, the roadmap. We're looking at project planning, website development, tutors registration, Q&A, testing, uh, partnership program launch, you know, reward program launch, and student enrollment. I'm going to pause the video real quick before I move on to the next phase of this. All right, so I do want to continue with this second phase. Marketing, we see learning portal updated, onboarding online tutors, student enrollment, e-course category expansion, and Magnum bit introduction. If we look at phase three, and we're still in 2021 on this phase three, marketing partnership integration, student enrollment. Now moving on into 2022, we get phase four, name change to Magnum Meta, 
uh, Magna Meta Project Planning and Branding, Documentation, the White Paper, Smart Contract Development, Website Update Development, Community Building, and Marketing Campaign Launch. And then we see Phase 5, Existing Students, MGB, Conversion. Uh, we see the Token Sale, Three Phases, the Decentralized Exchange Listing. Phase 6, Still 2022, Marketing Through Collaboration with Influencers, Registration opens, you know, for tutor students, e-business, consumers and retailers, metaverse. And then we see, you know, kind of what's under that heading. 2023, we see um, in phase seven, development of 3D VR learning classrooms, NFT avatar wearables, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, marketplace development, integration of NFT marketplace stores, e-business with virtual reality, community building rewards, development, staking rewards release. Continuing on into 2023, Phase 8, Tribe NFT Marketplace launch, GameFi launch, Centralized Exchange Listing, Governance down, and Phase 9 in 2023, Partnership Development and Expansion, Magnum X launch and Community Expansion, and then their last phase in 2023, Magnum Meta Innovation DeFi Smart Technology. Now, as we come to the end of this, the one thing I want to correct, you know, is that uh, the team not necessarily isn't photodox, you know, but they're partially photodox. But you're not going to see it on the website. You do have to go through their LinkedIn links to be able to see that information. So I do want to make that correction uh, while you know before we end this video. And so the other thing that I want to add in regards to taking a look, you know, at everything here in terms of the roadmap is that they have got a lot that they've tried to accomplish, you know, or want to accomplish in the roadmap. I mean, we're going back all the way to 2019, you know, so there's been a lot going on in terms of you know, development, you know, over time, you know, with this particular project, but it would be nice for them to indicate what they've already completed. You know, they can state, uh, you know, just in one, you know, easy line right here, you know, done, or they can just cross stuff off or they can add check marks, you know, something to indicate they've already completed, you know, this phase of the roadmap. And we talk about this a lot of times on a lot of different, you know, roadmaps on you know you know I would say hundreds of videos that I've covered um, you know in, in 2022 you know um, that being my first year on YouTube that there are a lot of projects that do not indicate what they've already done what's what's in progress what's pending what's ongoing but the ones that do clearly it is helpful to see that those things are indicated on the roadmap you know so and instead of having just this long you know page of a huge roadmap, you know, um, I kind of wish they would just give us some of the roadmap and then indicate um, an extended roadmap will be coming, you know, at such and such date. So that way there's less to focus on in terms of their roadmap. And then when it's time for them to update the roadmap, they can give us the rest, you know, but I think that it's helpful, you know, for anybody to take a look at what they're doing in terms of the roadmap and also be able to see that they're staying very connected to that roadmap. But you know, again, this is not new news. This is stuff I've talked about, you know, on other roadmaps that I've covered. Um, it also would be nice to know, is this the end of the roadmap? Something to indicate that um, this would be the completion of the development on the roadmap. So, so we know that, you know, and anybody holding the token would obviously be able to see that as well. So just my thoughts, you know, in regards to that, you know, as I look at this roadmap, but don't have anything else to add. You know, they definitely have a lot going on in terms of what they want to do concerning the roadmap. And I love the fact that they didn't mention anything about Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko. At least I didn't think I saw anything like that. Um, because absolutely, everybody wants to go ahead and get there because it helps in terms of exposure for the project. Um, didn't mention anything about an aspirational market cap or an aspirational amount of holders. You know, these are things that every project wants to do. And I think that when projects indicate those things, they're just adding needless and necessary just unnecessary elements to the roadmap that don't add any more value to it. I mean, they're all aspirational. So what I can see here in terms of what's been indicated on this roadmap and this white paper is the information here does seem substantive. I mean, it seems like it is valuable things that they're trying to do, meaningful things, you know, for a holder holding the token to be able to see that, you know, hey, there's some real things that this project is trying to accomplish. Now, you know, on this channel, we don't even encourage you to invest, but it is about being informed and we do stress, get informed. So definitely when it comes to this white paper, um, if anything, you know, I would go ahead, oops, I would go ahead and recommend it. Definitely take a look, you know, at 
uh, the white paper um, and read through it, you know, understanding uh, the various elements that they have included in this white paper. Because ultimately, when you are operating and looking at a crypto project, you want to make sure that you're doing so from an objective lens, making sure that the, the, the things that you have taken a look at, you know, are... Uh, has been about that process of information gathering, you know, so that you know looking at this has nothing to do with the hype, has nothing to do with what it could do, has nothing to do with any FOMO or somebody showing a project to you. It absolutely comes down to this is all the information you've gathered from multiple sources. You've taken a look at the white paper, you've looked at the community, and you've, you're looking at this objectively to decide, you know, what your level of participation may be. You know, so um, with that said, you know, guys, uh, if you're finding any value in terms of what I've shared with you um, on any crypto project, you know, this one included, you know, by all means, as always, you know, please share the channel. You know, we're not going to be able to grow unless you're sharing the channel with more people. You know, you're liking, subscribing, commenting, you know, and letting people know that, you know what, hey, you're getting value out of this channel. I'm going to continue to, you know, give you, you know, provide content as best I can, you know, give you a little bit, give you some exposure, you know, to projects and encourage you to do what is needed to, in order to be able to look at a project more objectively, you know, concerning what your participation level may be. All right. So, um, you guys have a lot of options, you know, when it comes to listening to, um, anybody talk about crypto related content and, you know, we're just a small channel here, uh, you know, just over 300 subscribers at the time of recording this video. And, you know, I just appreciate that you take time out of your day to listen to me talk about a crypto project. So thank you so much for doing that. And, um, you know, I'm going to leave it there. You know, so I'll leave the links relevant to the project in the description. As always, there's always good content to read in the description for any video I do on the channel. So make sure that you don't ignore that. Um, and that'll do it for me on this one, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, always, always enjoy the day.